1v1 on Samoski Winter. This game is Lenny. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 for Steven JF. So it's a caster battle. Or not caster battle, streamer battle. Steven and Lenny are both uh, big streamers on KOTU.org, so you've probably seen both of them play many times, and both of them are in their element, Steven playing as Oster, and Lenny playing as Soviet, so uh, this should be pretty good. I'm already excited. I'm already excited, and I don't even know, I'm not even really sure what either of them is going to do. Have Lenny going with the double conscript opening. Steven getting himself an extra squad of pioneers into a squad of grenadiers. I want to take a look at their loadouts really quick. We've got uh, Soviet Reserve Army, <laughs> which you almost never see. I'd be pretty surprised to see that one. Uh, NKVD rifle <laughs> disruption tactics. <laughs> And partisan tactics. All right, I'm gonna guess partisans because I know Lenny l l really likes partisans, but I guess I I really don't know. All right, Steven's got lightning war for the Tiger and super close air support, close air support joint operations for the Pack 43 and uh, mechanized assault, which is of course very popular. So see what he chooses to do. We've got Lenny making his way towards the south fuel, grabbing uh, the back strategic points with his two squads of conscripts. Orders, Third squad of conscripts hitting the field comrades. now. He has now not purchased us. a tech structure. Steven uh, going hard on munitions first, not making a play for the center town just yet. Sending his extra squad of pioneers here in the north munitions. Grenadiers taking the cutoff. First squad of pioneers is in Actually, I guess that's his first squad of pioneers in the north, and this is his extra squad of pioneers, which is making its way towards this building, but Lenny got there first. Pioneers will have to reposition elsewhere. Combat engineers here making their way through the deep snow to grab the munitions in the south, and these conscripts are making their way towards the north strategic point. Steven is actually going to retreat that squad of pioneers. Fresh conscripts have arrived. Already, possibly thinking of teching up, or maybe he just thought that uh, he was just going to send them south now. Grenadiers dancing around in yellow cover here. Take one squad into the building, another squad circling around. The north pioneers are taking the fuel. Objective MG42 is being fielded to towards the village as well. And we now have a fifth squad of conscripts being produced from Lenny. Neither of them has picked a com commander yet. We have taken it. We have more conscripts at our disposal. Conscripts engaging with uh, pioneers here. Grenadiers moving up to support. More conscripts here on the flank. Meanwhile, this battle in the village is going to last a pretty long time at this rate. Conscripts and grenadiers trading between houses. The squad of pioneers that Steven retreated is now harassing in the south, and the combat engineers in Lenny's south have uh, successfully taken munitions. So both players have control of one munitions point, but Lenny is securing control of both fuel points. MG-42 firing on the Soviets in that house. They'll be forced to retreat, packing up now. Fresh conscript squad being uh, placed in the church, however. Meanwhile, these conscripts are taking the strategic point and fuel in the north. Combat Engineer is actually going to engage the wounded Pioneers here in the south, and they'll be forced to retreat yet again. But he will be able to take the strategic point first. Engagement in the center is not really going anywhere, and the MG has actually been repositioned towards the north to try to defend the munitions. Conscripts Ura over the fence, making their way back towards the cutoff. More conscripts are on their way to support from the east. 
center village battle continues. Lenny has not purchased Molotovs yet, so he cannot force his opponent out of that building. But Steven, on the other hand, has purchased a flamethrower, so he will. So Lenny will no longer be able to uh, to camp inside of those buildings. Meanwhile, the combat engineers in the south have successfully taken that strategic point and are making their way back towards the fuel, possibly to plant a demo charge. He's going to have the munitions for that very soon. Conscripts hold up in green cover here. We'll be engaging an MG42 at range. More conscripts here engaging uh, grenadiers, which will retreat. Pioneers taking up position inside of the house. Stephen kind of barely holding on to what little territory he does have. He really needs to get control of a fuel point, though, or Lenny is going to have a massive army of tanks on its way. These two squads get caught in that machine gun's arc of fire and are forced to retreat. That squad of conscripts will also retreat. More squads taking up positions and cover in the village. And a squad of pioneers is fielded towards the south to retake it once again. Lenny's combat engineer is upgraded with a flamethrower. No demo charge placed. Just using them in the center didn't really accomplish too much. Steven hiding his flamethrower around a corner here in case a squad were to get inside of the church. Going with his classic double MG42 strategy, he's moving them slowly through the village, trying to take territory. Meanwhile, he has successfully taken the north fuel, and he's successfully harassing the south fuel. So Lenny, uh, Lenny's going to have to make a pretty successful counterattack here once his squad's reinforced to get some territory back. Eight minutes into the game almost, and still no commander selection from either one of them. Neither of them has that many command points, though, because it's been very cat and mouse, so there haven't been very many lethal engagements. Not very much XP gained from either players uh, yet. Molotovs have been researched, so finally he can force his opponent out of cover and out of buildings. Forcing the Grenadiers out of the green cover into the yellow, and a big, big, ooh, big squad of conscripts is on its way to support here. Rifle Grenade forces a retreat from that conscript squad, taking out four of them. But the Grenadier squad will also be forced to retreat. Here in the south, conscripts are engaging some Grenadiers, and will simply retreat after whiting the fuel point. Combat Engineer squad will taking the strategic point. Fuel point is about to fall back into Lenny's control in the north, and these two squads are making their way towards the uh, cutoff here, but the MG42 has been set up. We have taken it. Enemy contact! We have more conscripts at our disposal. And one squad of conscripts will be forced to retreat. This one repositioning out of the arc of fire of the supporting machine gun. It is now under our control. And the Soviets will take the north cutoff once again, which gives him a big munitions advantage. Lenny having 47 munitions coming in, and Steven only having 26. Almost, almost double, not quite. Because he holds the strategic point. Steven is trying to retake it though, moving his machine gun. To engage those conscripts, they will be forced to retreat, and Grenadiers moving up to support should be able to take the strategic point back. 
Fuel point in the south, however, is going to fall to Lenny once again, which means that Lenny's fuel control will continue to be extremely good. Steven has not gotten very much fuel into the bank. He has purchased a half track, so he does have tier 2 up and 63 fuel to spare after that. And hopefully he'll be able to use this half track to get himself a little bit more uh, map presence. Grenadiers taking the fuel point in the north. Conscripts taking the one in the south. Fuel continuing to change hands. Steven once again has control of his munitions points, bringing their uh, munitions incomes pretty close to each other, but Steven still has an extremely low fuel income. And Lenny has 300 fuel in the bank, but he has not picked a commander, and none of the commanders he has available to him have Colin tanks. So I'm thinking he's probably going to want to tick up soon. Molotov going into the building. One man flamethrower squad is in danger. He's taking damage. Gets it out just in time. Rifle grenade takes out two conscripts, which is not very many. LMG is dealing a decent amount of damage, but the sheer amount of conscripts may prove to be too much. Molotov's being exchanged. That one connects nicely, but no flame crits, and he's now forced to retreat through his own flames as he is suppressed by the MG42 over here. And the half track that he has here in the field will allow him to reinforce without retreating. So that engagement actually went quite well for uh, for Steven. Lost no full squads, forced a full retreat from Lenny, opening him up a little bit of time to move forward through the village. Reinforce the squads out of his half track, and he is successfully harassing these points here in the north with his grenadiers. And he will be harassing the southern fuel with his machine gun. There are still a few squads of conscripts roaming in the south, which may prove problematic for Steven to deal with. Depending on this machine gun's setup, doesn't look like it's set up very well to deal with that conscript squad. Not sure either of them has noticed this engagement even happening. There he goes. Lenny sees it, packing up. Steven trying to reposition into safety. Meanwhile, three squads of conscripts are making their way up through the south of the central village. Conscripts make their way into the fuel point and do not chase the machine gun. Machine gun will return and fire on them. I think they might be outside of Steven's vision range, though. Yeah, just barely. These three conscript squads are getting suppressed by the machine gun here and will be forced to make a full retreat. And meanwhile, all the territory right up to Lenny's base has been successfully harassed by this single grenadier squad. But of course, the exact same can be said about the territory all the way up to Steven's base by this conscript squad. So the map for once is actually split horizontally, which is not something you see very frequently on Simoski. Armor piercing rounds go out on that conscript squad and will force a retreat. Eight conscript squads produced by Lenny, and finally we will have some tech. And again! 13 minutes into the game, 4 command points each player, no commander selections yet. Retreating conscripts look like they should be able to get away with minimal losses. And Steven is now taking almost the entire map. MG42 pioneers harassing the cutoff. And the fact that Steven is taking this point outside Lenny's base means he will be connected to this fuel. He would normally not be connected until he took this. And he will be connected. We are losing territory. Lenny has spent all of his fuel to purchase tiers 2 and 3 and a T-34 tank. The T-34 will be heading towards the middle soon, and Steven has prepared by purchasing himself one pack. And if he's placed any Teller mines, I missed it. I don't think he has, because his munitions control has been terrible. Now that he controls one munitions point and most of the strategic points, uh, it's starting to come in quite quickly. 57 per minute, so very fast. He will be able to afford Teller mines soon. But he doesn't really have any pioneers in position to place them. I think this squad might be moving to place one, but again, his munitions still needs to wait for it to tick up a little bit more. The T-34 is already already making its way towards the center, so there's not really any way for Steven to 
stop its advance. The half track just got caught a little bit out of position. Single AT grenade should be sufficient, and it goes down to small arms fire just to a huge, huge number of costumes. And finally, we will see NKVD rifle disruption tactics chosen and he activated rapid conscription, which will also give him radio intercept, recon, and a So, pretty munitions expensive commander, and he just popped. Rabbit Conscription, although he hasn't taken any losses. He still has 90 seconds to engage his opponent, though. MG42 is making a full retreat. Grenadiers will probably be soon to follow. T34 will have complete, uh, complete dominance of the field until... until some sort of armor arrives for Steven. He does have 125 fuel, and he's purchasing a support armor core now, so we might see a Panzer IV very soon. Conscripts engaging Grenadiers here in the north are taking heavy damage in red cover. The T-34 is moving to retaliate now. We have more conscripts at our disposal. And gets a nice shot off. Rapid Conscription still has 30 seconds remaining, so we can still afford to be uh, play a little bit risky with his infantry squads. He's just throwing these straight at the enemy base defenses. For some reason. He's just walking straight into the enemy base defenses. <laughs> I think he's intentionally losing his squads to these base defenses. And base defenses don't vet up, so that's actually probably the most efficient way to lose troops. <laughs> it's pretty next level. But the Panzer IV is on the field. Pack is trying to attack ground through the bushes. It does not go with its uh, shot there. D-34 repositions a little bit out of its range. Conscripts available nearby to support as well. Rapid's conscription has ended, and I'm not sure how many... It looks like he only got one free squad out of that. Judging, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he got one free squad, and that's it. And then was forced to make a full retreat. With these two squads charging into the base defenses, this squad of conscripts will be harassing the strategic point by Steven's base. Molotov going out not land on target at all and he will be forced to retreat here uh, at Steven's cutoff. Panzer IV is making its way forward. Conscripts hiding a little bit behind these buildings trying to spread themselves out a little bit as well. Panzer IV forces a retreat from that squad. Does not take any losses. Rapid conscription tactics are now at our disposal. Rapid Conscription has been activated once again. D-34... Ooh! Full squad of Conscripts went down, although Pack Gun went with it, and there's now a second T-34 on the field. And with the Pack cleared, there's not much that can protect the Panzer IV from those two T-34s. Although that T-34 shot has bounced, and there are repairs readily available nearby. This Conscript squad is pinned by the well-placed MG-42 there. Dangerously low. It looks like he's trying to trying to take that T-34 on here, crewing the pack, trying to move up for a Panzer Faust. That T-34 wisely chose to disengage as I think he would have gone down. Oh, but fear propaganda artillery just went down on this whole force, and the pack, pioneers, and grenadiers will all be forced to retreat. <laughs> wow, I didn't actually realize that the pack retreated so slowly. I thought it would be like a little quicker, but it's I think it's moving it like it's normal speed. Forcing a uh, normal speed retreat from a pack is actually uh, it's that pack in a lot of danger. Unfortunately, the second T-34 is a little bit damaged. Just go full ham on it and try and take it out. 
but uh, that will definitely give Lenny full control of the central village once again. MG42 suppresses one conscript squad, but there's just way too much infantry here. Rabbit conscription ends once again, and I, and I Lenny lost a full squad of conscripts during that to the Panzer IV, so he probably uh, got it back and brought himself back to uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 squads of conscripts. So his first usage of rabbit conscription netted him one free squad of conscripts. And uh, his second usage of it gave him back one lost squad. So, in total he spent 240 munitions for one conscript squad, so that's been pretty costly. But it has replaced some of his losses, so that's good. That's something. The pack has been reinforced and is making its way back to the front lines. Panzer IV also making its way forward. Steven is again really hurting from map control. He has 100 fuel in the bank and he may consider getting another medium tank. He still hasn't chosen a commander. Two of his commanders have tigers, so he may consider holding out for a tiger instead. His tigers are actually very effective against T-34s, and uh, having seen pure propaganda in our artillery and uh, private conscription, he probably knows that Lenin doesn't have any form of heavy tanks on the way, so a tiger would certainly go a long way. Pure propaganda artillery forces the pack to retreat once again, as well as the machine gun, and the Panzer Grenadiers, and the Grenadiers, everything. Leaving the Panzer IV unsupported once again. Conscripts generally just roaming in this area here, retreating through the south. T-34 awaiting repairs in the base, some conscripts needing repairs there as well. Lenny has not purchased any additional combat engineers. Last time I cast Lenny, he was using conscript support. He was using the same ability there of rapid conscription, but he also had access to conscript repair, so that helped his repair abilities a little bit. But having only one combat engineer squad means his repairs are quite slow on his tank army. And now has three T-34s at his disposal. Pack 43 has been constructed here in the village. And <laughs> Lenny's radio intercept just told him that Steven has a Pack 43. <laughs> and uh, he thinks that's going to be a problem. Conscripts continue to just hold the line here. He's got them peppered all throughout the central village. Munitions cache going up here on the right side. And unfortunately, I don't think fear propaganda artillery is going to work on this thing. He's going to have to take it out some other way. Oh, he just hit a mine there in the center. Teller mine. Going to be forced to back that C-34 away for repairs. Panzer Grenadiers in the house, forced out by a Molotov rifle grenade going out. Takes out four conscripts. Lenin does have the munitions for rapid conscription. Should he choose to use it here? He's taking heavy losses. Panzer IV charging in as well. Another squad being forced to retreat. The squad trying to reposition itself uh, into some semblance of green cover in the cemetery. A freshly repaired T-34 makes its way to the front lines. Meanwhile, conscripts in the south are trying to retake control of the south fuel point. The north fuel point falling to Stevens Flame Pioneers. And a pack is making its way towards the center. We are losing supplies for the enemy. I am getting tired of this shit!
like uh, a Sturmovic is getting called in on the pack here. Strafing the building. Doesn't really do all that much damage to the Panzer Brigade inside. Panzer IV has fallen moderately low from C-34 fire and will pull back for repairs. And then Ostwind is about to be fielded, so Steven is not planning on holding out for Tigers. I guess that's obvious as he went with Joint Operations. Thinking that the Pack 43 would help him against the T-34s. Don't think he's utilized any of the other commander features. Pioneers taking the North Strategic Point once again. Constructs maintain control of the South Fuel. And a machine gun. That's actually Vet 2 now. Making its way a little further up. Starts laying fire on those constructs in green cover, and an Austrian is on its way to the front lines. Lenny actually has 200 fuel in the bank at the moment. He stopped production of T-34s. Might be pop caps. No. Almost. Not quite. He has a squad. Oh, I take that back. The T-34 production continues. Uh, conscripts making their way through the north. This squad is going to easily force away that squad of pioneers. This squad taking the fuel. This one getting caught by grenadiers may eventually be forced to retreat. They're rather clout. No rifle grenade, but he does retreat. The squad making its way to harass the north. Victory point. The uh, defensive line here in the central village is getting quite strong, however. Grenadiers in the church. Two tanks. Pack 43 itself, MG42 defending, so that's going to be very difficult to crack. And I don't think Lenny quite feels comfortable with an all-out push using all of his armor and infantry at the same time. Probably would secure. Well, it might succeed. I don't know. That would be a massive battle. T34 ready for combat. He's uh, he probably doesn't like the idea of just going in super hard on a Pack 43, especially not after hitting one Teller mine. Who knows how many more there might be. I haven't seen Steven planting them, but clearly one of them went down somewhere. I don't see any others in the field currently, though. Axis armor making its way across the north. The Austrian will force a retreat there, and we have a recon, recon run coming in. I wonder what he's kind of trying to scout for. Steven does not have an LEFH. I guess he just wants to know what his opponent is doing. Harry Khan is providing vision of Lenny's tank movements now. Steven knows exactly where they are. Probably going to rotate his pack 43 to assist. Panzer Grenadiers moving up into position. They are definitely going to force a retreat from that lone Grenadier squad. Four T-34s is probably enough to start wiping squads on retreat, but uh, he does not give chase because he doesn't want to get within range of the pack 43, which did not rotate. And recon overflight has ended. And Lenny's conscripts are making their way out of the base back towards the central village. And it looks like he's poised for a big assault here, but again, he's being very cautious about that back 43. And he really needs to make his next attack count. For now, it looks like he's going to continue circling wide of the pack 43 and look for targets that are overextended that he can take out with his tanks. I think that Grenadier squad could go down here. It should probably retreat right now if it wants to have any chance of, of escape. There it goes. Tons of conscripts in the retreat path. Four T-34s already dropped down to three models. Here it comes. Enemy forces are securing our territory. No chance of escape. That overextended Grenadier squad went down easily, and the four T-34s are going to continue their movement through the south. Pack 43 was rotated towards the north. T-34s. Ooh, they actually clear out of S mine field. Bit of a waste of those S mines. Pack 43 rotates to fire from the south. The T-34s are going to keep going west, and it looks like he's thinking of rushing into Steven's base, potentially taking out a tech structure outside of the range of the Pack 43. 
Sending only two of his T-34s though, the other two are, uh, well I guess they're coming, they just kinda got stuck a little bit. He's circling as wide as he can to try and stay out of Pack 43 range, it's not even bothering to rotate, and he will probably successfully be able to take out this, uh, support armor for And having seen a Pack 43 or maybe not seen it, but radio intercepted it, Probably knows that no tiger is on the way, so tanks are uh, tanks are going to be in pretty short supply. He's taking it out. Pack 40 has been repositioned to try and cap with this. We have uh, Sturmovic being called in here. The Panzer Shrek's just got retreated, and I think Lenny saw that he may be able to wipe this squad. Sturmovic actually targeted the Panzer IV though, for some reason. Oh, that ram! That ram just crushed the whole Panzer Shrek squad and damaged the engine of the Panzer IV. The Pack 43 has not rotated to participate in this engagement, so these flanking T-34s should have no problem taking it out. Oh, the ram! Wait, what? I'm not even sure what just happened there. It looked like it was able to crush on retreat somehow. One of those, um... Oh my god. Two of the T-34s have been abandoned in Steven's base. He successfully destroys one. The Pack 43 has rotated to fire on him. Meanwhile, there are engagements happening in the center village. A full squad of conscripts just got wiped by the Ostwind. The Pack, or no, not the Pack, the T-34. Looks like it will get away. <laughs> and Steven will be able to recover this one. So the support armor core has been destroyed, in addition to the Panzer IV and a full Panzer Shrek squad. But he gave his opponent a T-34 in the process. Another T-34 here in the north is circling down. And it looks like it might wipe this MG-42. It smashes into the building and destroys it. Gets a nice shot off on the half-track. Pack 43 is rotating. It's trying to get to safety. And it will get to safety, but it did not successfully take out that half-track. Meanwhile, the Vet 2 T-34 is making its way back to base. And I don't... Oh, yes, it has. This Pack 43 has fired one shot, which landed. But other than that, not much. So, so, so Lenny largely has been very successful in uh, dancing around it and inflicting as much havoc as he can without, uh, without having to directly engage this thing and... Uh, That just goes to show how big this map really is. Good work, comrades. This now belongs to us. T-34 receiving repairs. Steven kind of on the back foot a little bit. Losing the support armor core is definitely problematic. Having a T-34 is pretty much the only thing that's going to keep you in this game. This Panzer IV also went down. Wait, and his Ostwind? I wonder what happened to his Ostwind. I have no idea what happened to his Austin, but it's dead. I can't believe I missed that going down. It looks like it's sunk in the ice right here. I don't know how. I don't know what happened. I feel like it was something terrible must have happened with like an AT grenade that sank it in the ice or something. Repairs going up on that T-34. Conscripts making their way towards the center. And a fresh support armor core has been produced. And Steven actually has 200 fuel. Now that is 34 minutes into the game. So he will be able to produce fresh tanks. Well, one fresh tank right now. This is manpower. The sector is at risk. And Lenny himself is back up to three. Supply lines have been cut. Okay, that's the last one. Three T-34s making their way back towards the strategic point. The stolen T-34 firing on Lenny's conscripts here. 
Pretty nasty shot and will be forced to retreat here in the south. Conscripts taking a position in the house. More conscripts moving up on the flank should easily be able to force that machine gun to retreat and he will regain control of the south fuel. T-34 engaging T-34 here in the central village. A pack is moving up to support and again the pack 43 is an ever present threat. He cannot engage too aggressively. Goes past this point, he'll take a massive burst of damage. The pack 40 has moved up to push him back a little bit. Rapid conscription has been activated again, which is good because he's taking heavy losses. We'll retreat that squad. This pack 40 moving up. T-34 shot misses. Harassment in the north by this conscript squad. It's the strategic point back under control. Grenadiers taking. T-34 is moving up. Grenadiers moving into a house. Pack 40 moving up to support the stolen T-34. Another Pack 40 here is faced oddly. Why is faced that direction? This one is faced well to fire at least T-34s, and it looks like Lenny is slowly being forced completely out of the center of the village by these team weapons armor support. Steven continues his aggression, continues to creep his pack 40s forward. Ooh, that pack 40 got a little overly aggressive though and immediately gets decrewed by those T-34s. There is a half track available to reinforce it. Conscripts on the flank, land an AT grenade on the frontal armor, does not penetrate. This engagement up here, I'm not sure either one of them is watching this. Lenny finds out first and retreats. I guess Steven might have been watching. We'll be able to successfully take the strategic point. Second pack gets decrewed. Steven has 400 manpower, so he has plenty available at the moment for a reinforcement, but he won't be able to purchase any tanks if he spends too much on that. Pack 40 has been recruited and will start firing on the T-34s again if he can get vision. Fear Propaganda Artillery will force the repairing squads to retreat, although Steven actually places one of the repairing squads inside of his half-track. The Grenadiers inside of the half-track as well to prevent his squads from retreating. Very nice play, and apparently... <laughs> Apparently they can get pinned inside of the half track, whatever that means. So, <laughs> I guess that's probably a bug. That's kind of weird. T-34 moves up on the flank, takes a shot at that T-34, gets a nice hit on the rear armor. Ooh, and that squad of constructs just shows a pretty... The unfortunate retreat path here, the stolen T-34 and Panzer IV are going to deal a lot of damage to it. I don't know, think it's going to get away, and uh, unfortunately, my rapid description has ended, and, and Lenny is starting to run low on conscript squads. Even with rapid conscription, he's not really able to recoup all of his losses. Full squad goes to, does go down. At one point, he had nine. He is now down to five. And this one is fresh. The rest are not, so we got one squad out of that rapid conscription. Again, this is going to be a bit of a critical turning point. Lenny made a great play on Steven's base earlier, but unfortunately he's been pushed back once again. He's in a similar situation now with four fully repaired T-34s, a decent army of infantry. He's also producing a field gun here. Steven, on the other hand, unfortunately has one of Lenny's T-34s, which has pretty drastically shifted the balance of power in his favor. He's purchased two Panzer IVs of his own in addition to that, so both of them have a a very large army of medium armor in addition to their other various things. Steven is moving his packs up very aggressively, though. I feel like this aggression with the packs looks like it's going to pay off as Lenny is diving straight into them. Fortunately, he is screening with his infantry. I don't know if Lenny was really going to go in on this. It's going to take 
heavy damage from this defensive line that's been set up, although this pack is being forced to reposition. Oh, and the Fear Propaganda Artillery is coming in and forces a retreat from this pack. This one has been cleared. No T-34 is down yet. Two of them at about half, and then one Panzer IV has gone down. Half Track will be soon to follow if it doesn't get out of there immediately. Fear Propaganda Artillery forces a retreat from that Grenadier Squad as well. Nice use of the Fear Propaganda Artillery to turn the engagement in Lenny's favor. Steven loses a tank and will be for and his half track and will now be forced back into the center of the village a little bit. For repairs to reevaluate his strategy slightly, and Lenny, rather than pressing his advantage, is going to pull back and repair his tanks, but he's running a little bit low on time. Contact! Actually, no, he's not. He has 300 points remaining. Steven's the one who's running low on time. Okay. See, Lenny has plenty of time. I really wish the color mismatched properly. So annoying. We are bleeding, comrade! T-34 slowly receiving repairs. Some conscripts are being fielded to the north to start taking the territory up there. And Lenny is forced to make his charge now so that he can retake his cutoff. Has no resource income currently. Panzer IV takes a nasty opening burst from those T-34s. It's already fallen down to about half, and those Teller mines just couldn't get down in time. And he's going to be forced to retreat, although Lenny saw them going down. He's probably suspicious of more, and he, of course, knows that the Pack 43 is still available in the back. So he cannot charge too aggressively, and every time he moves forward, he has to slowly repair and think carefully about his next move. The cutoff will get taken successfully, and we do have harassment here in the north, so territory is shifting back in Lenny's favor, slowly but surely. And repairs are going up on the Panzer IV here. A pack that retreated to Steven's base is going to receive some reinforcements, as well as these pioneers here. And Steven has purchased a fresh Panzer IV. So he is back up to three medium tanks, two Panzer IVs, and the stolen T-34, which is up to Vet 1. Still has access to security mode, even in Axis hands. I'm really curious about that. Same vet bonuses, I guess. How interesting would it be if we got Blitzkrieg instead? That would be kind of cool. Conscripts are forced to retreat. A field gun is moving up, so Lenny will now have his own uh, defensive line, as well as a stolen pack. So a, quite a strong defensive line backing his medium armor. Pack 43, of course, continues to be the centerpiece of Steven's defense. And Lenny is just barely dancing on the edge of its range. Conscripts that were harassed in the north will be forced away by Steven's medium armor there. This Panzer IV is about to receive four repairs, and Lenny is charging into the arc of fire of the Pack 43. He will circle out of its arc of fire as he makes a charge towards the north. It looks like he's going to try and go in on the stolen T-34, which is maneuvering terribly here, facing its rear armor towards his opponent. I think that was a bit of a miss micro by Steven, and that uh, Panzer IV is going in so deep. But light artillery barrage is being dropped on the ice, and it successfully takes out the Vet 3 T-34. So both uh, both of them lose one of their medium tanks in that engagement, and Lenny maintains a slight, ever so slight, armor advantage, but continues to lead infantry as another concert squad goes down. Pack 43 landed only one successful shot during that engagement, so it is not Vet 1 yet. Field gun takes a shot on that Panzer IV as it gets a little bit overextended. Pack also lands a shot, bringing it down to half health. And the uh, the pack that retreated earlier is slowly making its way back to the central village. Conscripts somehow managed to harass the, cut, uh, the strategic point there uh, during the uh, previous engagement. So Steven is being forced to take that back or risk using uh, munitions income. Doesn't have grenadiers. Those Grenadiers available to support this engagement here in the center village, but the squad he does have here should be sufficient to clear that field gun out. Although Lenny has lots of conscripts available here if he wanted to merge. Instead he's going to lead the way with all three of them trying to screen away that pack. The Grenadiers take a lot of damage as well and will be forced to retreat. Oh, that full squad just went down. So Panzer IV shot. Lenny is just losing conscript squads left and right, and he doesn't have the manpower to keep up with it. 
That being said, Steven's infantry presence isn't exactly amazing. Having only two grenadier squads. Keep your heads down! This game is really all about strategy, not so much about tactics. You can tell both players are thinking really hard about every one of their maneuvers that they make. Starmavik strike going in on those Panzer IVs. They were trying to flank through the village around through the south. And that Sturmovic actually did a healthy amount of damage on the rear armor of that Panzer IV and the T-34s want to follow up on that. I think they are both in a lot of trouble here. That T-34 gets abandoned by a Pac-43 shot, however. This one has its rear armor face towards both T-34s, goes out of control, and will be destroyed. The one utilizing Blitzkrieg looks like it will get to safety. Lenny probably really wants to destroy the abandoned T-34 here. He has another T-34 moving up from the north. Sturmovic strike. It's something. I think it hit the Panzer IV again. I don't know why it keeps targeting medium armor instead of team weapons and infantry. The T-34 here in the center is rapidly overstaying. It's welcome. Takes a nasty shot from the Pack 43 Pack 40 following up. Snipes it at maximum range and will destroy it. Two T-34s down for one of Steven's Panzer IVs, although it's getting way too aggressive in front of this... <laughs> in front of this field gun and the Sturmovic destroys it. There's a Grenadier squad right here, but the Sturmovic fired at the Panzer IV and destroyed it, of all things. <laughs> Apparently that will prioritize medium armor, even though it barely hurts it. But I guess in that situation it was a good thing because it took it out just in the nick of time as that field gun got to through. Grenadiers get too aggressive here, right in front of that T-34. Steven can't, can't afford to lose that squad. He's only got two of them. Looks like it will round the corner just in time. Pack 40 is going to force the T-34 away. I've got two packs now grabbing the strategic point there. Steven getting a little bit desperate for capping power, utilizing his team weapons to take territory as his infantry just doesn't have to scratch. He's building himself another MG42 so that he can go back to having two MG42s. So he's only had one for some time. T-34 is making its way forward. This pack has been decrewed, and if Lenny can get a hold of it, that will give him a significant advantage. But the MG here is a bit of a nuisance, and the pack 43 prevents this tank from getting too close to take it out. to reposition again. Their ability to flank is just completely shut down by the Pack 43 behind Steven's lines. Pack 40 getting a little aggressive here though. Rather than yeah, T-34 circle to engage it. And it's dead. Now it's Vet 2 as well. Way too over aggressive with that pack and those will both be easily stolen by Lenny who actually does have a bit of manpower to spare now, and an AT grenade has connected with the Panzer IV, but again, Lenny cannot chase. He does, however, to take a pack. He's cruised a field gun. There's so many packs, and, and just packs. There's just so many decreed packs. There's one here and here. This one freshly crewed. A lot of manpower invested by Steven into those packs, and they're now just sitting on the battlefield. So, Lenny has lost a lot of manpower through his conscripts. Steven has lost a lot through his packs. Conscripts are now taking the south fuel. North fuel has been harassed by this conscript squad as well. So, Lenny's resource advantage will return, and his victory point advantage has also returned, meaning Steven has to uh, has, has to make a game-winning push here. Doesn't have much time. 
and he's just gonna have to do it with the tools at his disposal since he doesn't have the resources detected tier 4 and start getting panthers. He just has to do it with medium, just panzer 4s, packs and grenadiers and stuff. Nothing else is coming. Just gonna have to figure something out. Grenadiers making their way towards the south. We have taken the enemy down to 50 points. Panzer 4 receiving repairs here. Steven does have 140 munitions, so he could throw down some Teller mines. They're 50 munitions each to help against pushes. I don't think I see any anywhere. But it's Pioneer's time is at a pretty high premium. He needs them for repairs above all else. Grenadiers harassing the south continues. Conscripts defending this house. Steven is uh, reconning this area. Conor run just ended, but I think he had a pretty good picture of Lenny's forces here. MG42 is defending the North Victory Point, but it's getting forced away by fear propaganda artillery, and Steven will be forced to respond immediately because if he gets triple capped, the game will end extremely soon. He needs to mount an assault on one of the victory points as rapidly as possible, and losing the North is absolutely not an option. His Panzer IV moves up to counter, but it does not have a top mount machine gun, which means that he doesn't quite have the DPS and the conscripts are very well spread out so I don't think that these conscripts are going to get taken out all that quickly three men remaining now they're rather clumped they could go down here and he opts to retreat he doesn't think he has time to take the point and he's probably going to lose the full squad on retreat but whiting the point has drained Steven of precious victory points he now only has 14 remaining slowly retaking the north victory point but he does have an assault making its way towards the center Lenny has 86 munitions so he can utilize fear propaganda, propaganda artillery one more time only eight points are remaining now Steven slowly tells me or, wait what I was just reading that out loud subconsciously. Pack slowly taking the center victory point. Only five points remaining now. Fear Propaganda Artillery is going to force a retreat, I think, from this pack, but not before the point gets whited. Full assault by the tanks. Take out the T-34. The Pack-43 will destroy the Panzer... or the T-34 here, though. Panzer IV has also gone down. Pack-43 continues to fire and deal massive damage. Center victory point starts to get retaken by combat engineers, though. Only four remaining for Steven. And he has no infantry anywhere nearby. That can deal with this. And I think that that's going to conclude the game. Three points remaining. Two. Good game, well played by both players. Lenny managed to defend the victory points just long enough without ever having to mount a full assault on this Pack 43, which, while it didn't have too dramatic of an impact on Lenny's tanks as far as inflicting losses, it only has one kill. I think it only landed like four or five shots throughout the course of the game. It certainly did inhibit Lenny's ability to push for the center and made it quite difficult to take this area. Great use of fear propaganda artillery. Great use of... <laughs> and KVD in general. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do send me your replays if you would like me to do a cast. Thanks for watching.